Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode four. And it looks like we have our first prank here. It looks like everybody has buried me in something. I have no light to tell me what I'm even in. And this may be a little tricky for you. In obsidian. But I am let out by sneaky. It wouldn't matter you had your book. I know. But yeah, I would have had nothing to get me out of it if it wasn't for that. So, yes, as I was saying, welcome to episode four. And where did, uh, where were we? Uh oh. What the hell? What is this? I accidentally made 30 rubber sheets, though. So you thought you would just use it. Well, we are uh, we are joined on the server by Biddy, Zeph, and Sneaky Lawn Gnome. Hello. So, yeah. I came falling on that, and I'm like, oh, maybe I don't want to do that. And I kept bouncing around. I'm like, oh, wait, that's not just generic block. So let's go back up to our house and see what's changed up here. Not too much, it looks like. Looks like we have an ender chest. Is that, Do we have another chest somewhere else that this connects to, or do we just have one for now? Just have one. All right. Do we all have pouches, or... What? I do not. Okay. Well, we know Zeph's got, like, blaze rods to go all over the place with. I assume. So, Zeph, so far in this room, I'm just seeing a fermenter. I just placed those there because I don't want them in my bag. Oh, okay. Alright. Did you put the rubber back, or is that... Oh. What the... <laughs> I didn't work. <laughs> Gotta hit the center. Yeah, you have to hit the center of the block. That's bad aim. Apparently. Oh, wait, I hit the center of the block. It didn't work for me either. Oh. Oh, that? Not I was fine. Wait, did uh. it work for you? Yeah. Oops. There we go. I don't know I think it only works so far down, though. It's okay, I can't seem to pick up my book. It's just a uh, shift click to get it, right? I uh, open it up and then right click it on the thing. Ah, there we go. Oh, I have somebody's, uh, I have somebody else's stuff too. Yeah, my stuff. All right, let me. Uh, pocket. Yeah, let me, uh, let me come up there and I can turn around here. We can try and sort this out. I'm sure it was not important. Did you uh did you make yourself a book at all, Biddy? Not yet. I'm almost back then. Okay. Um, I think I put you. Yeah, I'll dump some of this stuff. I know that's not mine. Let's see. This almost broken sapphire sword must be mine. Uh who's got the fortune pickaxe already? That would be mine. Tough gave it to me though. What's that? That was mine. Seth gave it to me. Oh, okay. Let's see. All right. So let's. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what else. I have mean, a ton of yes. ton of junk, but. So we need to make. Um, you need machine frames and things, don't you? Uh, I've made the pulverizer already. All right. And well, how do we want to power that for now? Do we just make a steam engine? I think that might be the easiest. I'll make the. Uh, so we need a redstone transmission coil. That's just the silver. 
Are you working on that or you want me to? I can do that, yeah. Okay. And then we really need to start looking at if we want to what we want to do for some um, things here. We need to um, let's see, what do we have a bunch of stuff over here already. That extractor, an electric furnace, and an, a compressor. Now we might actually want to make some um, some conductive pipe to build it so we can put like the thermionic fabricator and a carpenter. We can make a farm. Let's see. We probably need a lot more resources. I'm going to I'm going to go out here and die a couple times quick. So most likely going to happen. My sword's almost gone. Whoops. All right. So I don't know, do we want to, let's see, in building farms and stuff, do we want to um, build like a peat farm and, a, and stuff to, to do it that way, or should we just say forget that? Uh, to do what? Do we want to make like a peat farm and make some peat-fired engines to get us going? We can, I don't care. I'm just going straight for biogas, so. So you need yeah, a tree no farm? Yeah, that. But, yeah. I think if we, because there was, um, there was already a road coming this way, wasn't there? From the town? Yeah. And Sneaky, were you working on expanding that, it looks like? Oh, I ran out of What were you using? Gravel? Oh, you know what I didn't get back was my torches. I'll go make some more. Oh, is that why I got so many? <laughs> Actually, Sneaky, if you've got them, can you just, down the center of this road, can you just continue the torches um, straight out? And then um, we'll make like a, a street or something that comes almost to the building and then maybe, you know, right, uh, make it turn straight to the house and then I'll build, um, I'll build some farms and we'll try and, I don't know, we're probably not going to be able to make a mob proof, but we can definitely try and improve the spawning of some of the stuff out here. I what do you put in a, yeah. What's that? What do you put in a steam engine? Um, we'll need, uh, we'll need an accumulator, an aqueous accumulator. Oh, I just got shot at. Um, you just do that and like coal or coal coke. We should probably start making our coking ovens and things at some point. Yeah, I put in a stack of coal and it's not doing anything. Gotta have some water too. Ooh, gotcha. And... That does make sense. See, the sun's coming up. I don't have an axe, but I'm gonna go make one. Unless my crappy one ended up in the chest here. I can use that. Oh, that must have been it. I just ran over. Yeah. Well, I'm going to need another one anyhow. So let's see. I think we have some. Somewhere I thought I had some crystals. Maybe they're still in here. Some kind of gems. Yeah. And I'm going to need enough for a sword and another shovel yet. Those are all starting to go on me. And there's still some wood in the project table? Yeah. Okay. So I have a couple of sticks, but not enough for anything. There's a wood in the wood chest. Well, that would make too much sense. Somebody went kaboom. A 
Of course, I'll end up one stick short. Depending on how much stuff that we're going to make, um, we could probably set up some plans for the project table for like the uh, machine frames and stuff. We'll probably end up with quite a bit of project tables by the time it's all said and done. Oh, I hate these funky oak trees now. Uh, do we have a bucket? Uh, weren't you just making one? Yeah, I probably should have used it before I put it in a recipe. So as I know. Probably not yet. I didn't have one. Probably not getting all of the wood out of this tree, but oh, I might have to build up and get some more. We'll see what uh, how those leaves decay. So, how do you guys feel about eventually building like a? A railway. Oh, Zeph. No, sneaky. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. What do you guys think about, like, a railway that connects, like, each of our homes? I think that's a great idea. We could do um, a, um, ender chests to store the carts in. I'm just not a big fan. With the Steve's carts, I'm not a fan of the... Um, the passenger riding ones. Not that they're not cool or anything. Just, uh, I'd rather just hop in and have it take me. I mean, eventually we can probably build like a station somewhere with a, like, with a switch system. So you could just like, okay, I want to go to Biddy's house. You push a button, the cart shows up, picks you up, and it'll take you straight there. Well, yeah, it's the linking books, but I'd rather keep, you know, I mean, right now the linking books are nice because that way we can come back to our homes if something happens or whatever, but um, in the future, I mean, I just want something that makes it feel more like that town feeling. Or the community based stuff. That's what we should probably do is I should probably just write some books and see if we can start finding um finding some crystal. As that's the one thing about this is that you have to just write ages and try and find stuff. Now I know I was reading that in the upgrades to that they're they're changing it to where like villagers and things will you can trade to get symbols, which that'll be a lot, you know cool to have in the future. All right, so we have power to the pulverizer. Sure do. All right. Oh, we, so we can start pulverizing some things. All right. Did you put one water underneath the pulverizer and one? 
Yeah. Okay. A compact is good right now. Let's I'll just start working on pulverizing. All right. Yeah, because that way we can start getting some more stuff and we probably can go out and gather more resources. Let's see. I'm going to take some weed up to the uh, animal farms and try and feed animals and get us some more leather so we can make some more books. Let's see. Sneaky, do you have that wheat that I probably dropped when I died? Or is it all in the plant stuff? There it is. All right. I picked up a ton of dirt, it looks like, somewhere along the way. Try and empty my inventory a little bit. Sneaky, if you're not working on anything, do you want to build another room that we can start putting my craft books in? Um, like a nexus? I think we're going to be hurting on copper pretty soon. That's possible. Does that have to go there? Does that have to go there? What? I said, does that have to go there? Oh, no. Why? Because it's like interfering with my stuff. And uh, Sneaky, do you still have that paper on you or no? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll move it. You said it's in a chest over here? It's so many buildings, I don't even know where I'm going anymore. Is this thing going to be used for anything? This little house? Um, not really. I mean, we can tear it down if you don't, you know. It's where I had started out with things, just so that I had a place. Alright, let's see here. Hmm. I say we move all the machines in there. Into that little room? Yeah. You think that's going to be beneficial when we start expanding, or? Well, you can always move this up later. I mean, just for now, we put all the machines in here. I'll go. Um, I just took them out. I I fed them and then killed the adults. That paper. Yeah, I don't know which one of these buildings has got anything in it, so I just said forget it. Put chest in the building. The building you just... The one that's got the link modifier in it? building you just built. Oh, okay. Put it. Well, that's okay, because now I'm here and... Oh, I gotta build a a desk, don't I? 
To put a writing desk? Yeah. Does anybody have an ink sack? Uh, there's some in the mob drops. Okay. Then I'm going to come back that way to do this. There's one, if that's all you need. Yeah. I need that and a feather. Which I have. All right. So the writing desk is just planks here. And we'll need a notebook here when we make this, right? Notebook is a whole bunch of paper. So one thing Does I have to have that engine. So let's see, writing new books. I don't want to write it, I just need to create one. Descriptive book, because well, we need more feathers. I need to go kill some more chickens. Or I can just grab these ones that are raining down on me. Oh, you know what though? Oh, I got some leather too, all right. This book is going to drop on the ground, so I'll leave it right here for the moment. I suppose before I do that, did it, has anybody created any Mistcraft worlds yet? Nope. Yeah, that's one part of Mistcraft I've never done, so. Okay. I'm interested to see that if you do. Well, I'm, I've I made one now. I'm gonna go check it out because some of them are. I just for Mistcraft, I would just uh, make a digging age and a I don't know a void, I guess. Not well, I don't know. Okay, lag incoming as it's creating a new world. I mean, we can just get a whole bunch of them, and then once if we find ones where we're like, okay, absolutely not, then um, from there we can just delete them out if we don't want them. This one here. Well, that's the thing. You have to look for the the symbols. I mean, there's a way to get all of the symbols, but. Uh oh. Uh oh. I think we just yeah, crashed okay. it. All right. Let's see. I'm logging back in. Oh, okay. You can go ahead and log back in. Yeah, there's a little bit of lag coming as it's creating a new world, and this looks like some kind of cave world that's dropping a lot of sand and gravel, so. And this is the 
this is a, a lot worse than just a thing. There's. Hey, um, somebody pick up that book and throw it on that writing desk and tell me what the symbols are. Or I can come back, I suppose. Uh, what do you want? Sneak. Just tell me what all what ones are all in that book. Biomes. Art. All right, you're cutting in. So you're cutting in and out. I... Sunset. Strongholds. Time. Forecast. All right, I'll just come back. Let's see. This one is huge biomes, woodlands, marsh, mountainous desert, skylands, green sunset, strongholds, skylands again, bright, overcast, fast time, cave world. I don't see anything. I didn't have any bad effects. But it's corrupted, though. Well, how do we know that? Cave worlds are always kind of sketchy. Unless you turned all the corruption off. I don't think I enabled it. I don't know. Let me go check on it. I'll be right back, you two. It's a good all game. Right. Uh, all right. See who and gets kicked first. <laughs> Welcome back. We're recording again. All right. So uh, we created this age here. We're kind of looking at, again, huge biomes, woodlands, marsh, and mountainous desert. Skylands twice. Green Sunset, Strongholds. It'd be nice to find those. Bright Overcast, Fast Time, Cave World. Almost dead. Well, let's see here. We started trying to build a tower up. And ran into some gravel. So I think with the Skylands and the Cave World, this kind of sucks. There's the because it's in the sky. Like if you go to zero, I'm sure I die. Which means I'm gonna have to build around to find anything. And we were really looking for some crystal, so I think this is not a world we're looking for. But I can take the book down at least, maybe. And I can name it. And we'll just call it uh, Cave Skylands. And we will put that on here for the moment. And I think I had enough for one more. Oh, sorry, lagging coming. Yep. I'm hoping it doesn't kick us again, but we'll see what happens. Well, at least my client's still staying at about 50 frames a second. Whoa. I come in and the first thing I hear is thunder. And you guys all got kicked, huh? Yeah. Well, so far I don't see I have any effects. And it's still generating here. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean to, like, create a whole bunch of lag. Well, I... I just got booted. Well, that's why is because it couldn't figure out what's all going on. Yeah, it's yeah, completely generating a whole new world, so. Yeah, and then once it generates, it's got to deal with all the gravel and sand and dropping that.
There's a lot of storming going on here. I'd be definitely curious to see what this... Oh, wow, there's a ton of monsters here. Oh, man. Creeperville here. Who came to join me? Sneaky? Yeah, there's monsters galore over here. Kind of weird. I don't know what I didn't look at the symbols yet. Oh, the same with the last one. Only. Yeah, I don't think we're in Skylands. That's for sure. You want me to go ahead and do the induction smelter if we're going to need the hardened glass? Yeah, we'll need that sooner because we'll need the, uh, oh man. I'm sorry, I'm getting like mobbed to death here because I think this one is in a constant state of storms. Um... Yeah, it wouldn't hurt, um, because we'll need that for, like, the hardened glass we'll need for, what, liquiducts? Yeah, that and the, uh, red, redstone energy stuff. Oh, contacts. yeah. Yeah, we'll definitely need that. Well, I'm on some kind of platform. I'm trying to see if I can find crystal, because that's one thing that I definitely it's think we should have. It does or does not... Uh, okay. That doesn't mean they're not here. It doesn't mean that they're not here. It just means it's not, you know, something that it's prevalent. Oh, man. All right. And that's the hard thing is just trying to create those. You have to... Let's see, let me get rid of some more of my junk here. As you guys will learn, I'm horrible with sorting things. Let's see, huge biomes, tundra, jungle, forested island, bright, overcast, fast time, cave world. Well, we got a couple new things, but not everything we were looking for. And still no bad effects, really, which is good. Let me put that in here so we can learn these things. I think that uh, that overcast is what's going to cause the monsters to keep spawning. So I think uh, we have that. I'm gonna go kill some more chickens. I'm probably gonna. G it sucks that they're you know that it, it's knocking you guys out. If I create a world. Fourteen brothers. Oh, where are you? Are you in the building or? Village. Are you in the village? Darn it! I was on my way there. All right. Because, yeah, if we can find a nice, you know, basically I'm trying to get enough um, symbols so we can get some stuff. And, yeah, we should basically have, like, a mining, um, you know, a mining world that we can put the, um, put quarries in 
I'd like to get the crystal. Yeah. You're right. You have a mine you, Sneaky? Mine. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I probably won't need that much. I think I've only got three more books ready to go anyhow. Yeah, but we can have them here. So, um, so Biddy, you wanted to see what you do? All right, I'm looking. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it's really easy, honestly. You know how to make a book. So you just take a book and you put it with a feather and you get this descriptive writing book, okay? And you just take that. Now, if you don't, you know, if you don't do anything with it, it's going to randomly generate everything. Or you can go, if you follow me back this way, this here, the, it's a two-block structure, is the writing desk. I can put the book in there, and from my notebook of symbols that I've already learned, I can try and write a world. Oh, cool. Now, if you don't put enough stuff in there, then you, know, then you start getting corruption in there. But you essentially want, you know, think about it. You know, it just makes sense. Biome controller, right now we have huge biomes. If you have single biome, you only want to put one biome in there. You know, then you look at, like, lighting. You probably want something in lighting and sky. We're trying to get more things because right now I can only write green sunset. Anything that that has to do by random create is a bigger chance of creating instability. Instability mm. can be everything from it causes some status effects to the world actually corrupts and falls apart. Weird. Cool. So, yeah, we have that world modifier Skylands, but I'm not hip on that. But, yeah, and then that notebook in there, we can take that in the top left corner. We can take that out and substitute it out if somebody else had a notebook. So that's how that works. But I'm going to go try this new age here, and as soon as I link, it's going to drop the book because these haven't been modified. So you'll see the book drops, and here comes the lag. Well, that was pretty quick. So now, let's see. Um, I have a status effect. I can't see. Oh, mining fatigue three, which means it takes me a lot longer to mine here. But if you pick up the book, you can actually look at what symbols are in the book. I thought by leaving the found it'll be Um, I'm not sure. I think I know it's affected by weather, like if it gets wet or anything. That's why if I created another book that came home and left it here, you know, you want to make sure you cover it. I found some rubber trees in this one, though. But, yeah, the mining fatigue is going to make this one not, not so well. It's silverwood tree. So some of them are really cool. You know, you get awesome new generations. But again, especially early on, before you write anything. Oh, what is this I just picked up? Cattails? And now I'm getting a bunch of lag. I think it, as it's trying to create more of this world as I'm walking around. It's okay, I'm gonna come home. I'll look up these cattails and see what kind of uses they have. But folks, I think that right now is gonna wrap up uh, this episode. We look forward to seeing you again uh, at our next episode where we will hopefully have some more machines set up and we'll start getting some farms going. And with that, to all of my wonderful Minecraft addicts, 
Have a wonderful day.